Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is an extension to my part 4 video on key tool. In my part 4 video, I talked about Java security providers. I also talked about how to configure Bouncy Castle provider. I wanted to include more examples, but I didn't want to record one lengthy video to edit. So instead, I thought it's best to upload separate videos. Although Bouncy Castle is widely used, there are still other well-known and widely used providers such as Sun PKC11, IBM PKC11 and IIK provider. So in this video, I'll show you how to configure Sun PKC11 provider with Java. Alright, before you start setting up Sun PKCS11, you should have a smart card or a hardware security module or a USB token connected to your system. PKCS11 based key stores need a PKCS11 compatible device to operate on. I talked about this in my uh, part 1 video on key tool. On this VM, I have a cloud based HSM configured. It is called Data Protection on Demand or DPOT in short. So if I execute Luna CM, Luna CM is just a binary that uh, came with my uh, cloud HSM client. Uh, I use it to configure my cloud HSM. So to set up username, password, policies, things like that, I use Luna CM. So here's my cloud based HSM. Now Sun PKCS11 uh, requires a configuration file to talk to your hardware. So I'll start by writing a configuration file for Sun PKCS11. I'm going to exit out of this. And just in case if you are curious, this is the version of Java that I'm using. Okay. All right, so let's start with uh, writing the configuration file. Uh, you can name your configuration file whatever you want and uh, with whatever extension you want. The first thing that goes in your PKC11 configuration file is a name. Here you can mention a meaningful name. For example, I can just mention Cloud HSM. The second thing that you need to mention is the library. Now every PKC11 device uh, has a driver or a library that you need to install on your machine. That library is used by your application to talk to that hardware to perform various script operations. In my case, the library is located at user safenet luna client lib lib crypto key 2 underscore 64 dot so. And the third information that you need is a slot. If you already have an HSM, uh, your, uh, your uh, device would show a slot number. And this is that slot number. Uh, the slot number for my device is just zero. So I'm going to use that. So once I have set up this configuration file, all I need to do is go to the location where I have Java installed. So GRE lib security. And hold on a second. I need to use nano. And the file name, file name that you need to write is java.security. This is what we saw in the part four video when we were trying to configure various uh, security providers. I'm gonna enter my password. Once you are in your Java security file, scroll down somewhere in the middle, you should see the list of providers. Okay, so these are the list of providers that are already set up with my Java. I'm going to add a new entry. So security.provider.ten equals sun.security.pkcs11 sunpkcs11 and I need to provide the location of my configuration file. So it's in my home directory, sun pkcs11 
pkcs11 pkcs11.cfg that's it control o to save and exit all right if you remember in my previous session i used uh, a sample code so this code let uh, gives me the list of all providers that are available so if i run this uh, sample now okay there's a delay that which means java is trying to talk to that cloud hsm and here it is this is my sun pkcs 11 cloud hsm the way i configured sun pkcs 11 just now is called a static method or static registration so all i had to do was go into this location and uh, add an entry for sun pkcs 11 in java.security file I also had to write a configuration file which will be used by Sun PKC11 to talk to my cloud HSM. Uh, there's another thing I need to show you. So if I take you to the OPT Java JDK GRE lib ext directory. Now here we already have a file called Sun PKC11.jar. Now this jar file is required by Sun PKC11. If you remember in my last video, I had to download and copy some jar files for Bouncy Castle. We don't have to do that for Sun PKC11. Uh, Java already has the required library for Sun PKC11 to work. All right, I'll clear the screen and uh, let's go back to our, and I'm going to execute a simple key tool command so key tool dash list dash key store none as sun pkc 11 does not need a file so i would have to leave a uh, key store as none and the store type is pkcs 11 when i hit enter Every time I hit enter, whenever there's a, a blinking cursor, that's an indication that my key tool command is trying to talk to uh, my cloud HSM. So I'm going to enter my password. And I guess it's trying to get the list of uh, objects. So at the moment, Sun PKC11 provider was able to find two objects in my cloud partition so both of them are secret keys and uh, you can see over here it says key store type pkcs11 and is pkcs11 cloud hsm i'm going to clear the screen now in my last video i showed you how to configure a java security provider statically as well as dynamically uh, dynamic registration is useful in those situations where you don't have access or permission to write changes inside your Java home. So let's learn how to use Sun PKCS 11 dynamically. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, sudo nano. I'm going to uh, remove that entry from the java.security file. So jerry lib security java dot security asking for the password scroll down okay I'll put an asterisk so if you don't already know this putting a hash in front of an entry makes it a comment so I've added a comment and I'll save the file Okay, let's try to run key to list command once again. I'm getting an exception that says PKC is 11 not found. So this is a clear indication that uh, the configuration for PKC is 11 is, uh, I mean, it does not exist in java.security anymore. So if I were to use it dynamically, I would do key tool dash list dash key store none store type is pkcs11 provider class sun.security.pkcs11.sunpkcs11 if you remember this is that same entry that i added inside uh, java.security 
okay and then provider arg let me move the mouse out of the way and provider arg would be uh, the configuration file which is inside the sun pkcs11 directory called pkcs11.cfg hit enter this is already looking good there is a delay it's trying to connect to okay here we go user okay i'm not gonna read my password and i think it worked i guess it's trying to okay here it is so key store type pkcs11 key store provider is sun pkcs11 cloud hsm and these are the two objects that are stored inside my cloud hsm all right so that brings us to the end today we learned how to configure sun pkcs11 in java Please note that there were few important things that I did not mention in this video. There will be a separate video on Sun PKCS11 very soon where I will be covering few more important things about Sun PKCS11. I hope you found this video to be interesting. Please do write your questions in the comment section. If you're not already subscribed, then please consider subscribing to my channel. I'll see you soon, very soon in my next video. See ya.